नमस्कार टुडे इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आई विल बी डीलिंग विथ टिक वेब स्विच पॉइंट लेआउट इन दी प्रीवियस प्रेजेंटेशन आई हैव डेल्ट विथ द बेसिक्स ऑफ टिक वेब पॉइंट मशीन सो दिस इज द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ टिक वेब पॉइंट दिस इज ए लेआउट एंड दिस इज द पॉइंट मशीन दिस इज द डायग्राम गिवन बाय आर डी एस फो आर डी एस फो एस थ्री फोर फाइव फोर with alterations a version 1 which is of modified coming from left to right here you can see the 745 mm this is the distance from the center line of sleeper number 3 to center line of sleeper number 4 the point is placed on sleeper between sleeper number 3 and sleeper number 4 this is your closed tongue rail point is set in this direction this is your closed tongue rail and your arm is locking the tongue rail here if it is outside it means that it is in locked condition while this is your open switch and uh, the arm is incubed inside the throw slide the opening here as you see is 160 mm and these are all the measurements of the slides and rods which are all the of the ground connections let us go further now coming to the measurements here this presentation mainly deals with the installation practices so let me give you different uh, measurements that you need to check when you are installing the point machine at the initial stage toe of switch to center line of sleeper number 3 should be 32 mm so what is this 32 mm toe of the switch this is your toe that is the end of the tongue rail and center line of switch center line of your sleeper number 3 so this is your sleeper number 3 if this is the center line so this distance which you are i am talking about is 32 mm distance from center line of sleeper number 3 to sleeper number 4 so this distance from sleeper number 3 to sleeper number 4 is 745 mm while point inner edge sorry rail inner edge to the point machine is 970 mm 970 mm in this let me tell you practically also this 32 mm is very easy you can place your tongue rail while 745 mm is also very uh, easily placed by the engineering department but coming to this 970 mm though rdso gives us at 970 mm at times this distance may be different this is only an indicative measurement if required depending on the lens of the ground connections that you have and other conditions your point machine may move a bit back or front generally at back so it may be even 1020 10, so you have to take this into consideration after placing all the rods you will have to give this four there will be four holes which need to be provided on this uh, sleepers which hold the point machine you have to set the point machine rodings fully place the point machine properly and again give the markings for these four holes which hold the point machine this can change it is oh, this 970 is only indicative and if required you may change it further so this is the here i am dealing with the gap at the junction of rail head which should be 57 to 62 mm now what is this junction of 
rail head this point is called the junction of rail head where your ssd is provided this gap which you can see should be 57 to 62 mm let us say generally 60 mm this is connected with the open switch tongue rail so whenever the train is moving at high speed due to lateral movement of the wheel of the train the wheel inside portion may touch the tongue rail in thick wave switch because the gap is 60 mm it will not touch the tongue rail and there will not be any disturbance for this tongue rail when the train is moving at high speed and then indication rods will not be disturbed and into your your point will not get flashing Now let us know where we need to provide holes and the markings of stock rail and tongue rail along with P clamp holes. Let us start with the stock rail. So stock rail requires two holes of diameter and height 22 mm and uh, provided at 76 mm. The first hole from the edge of the tongue rail to as per RDSO is 450 mm while the second hole from the edge of the tongue rail is 530 mm here i have given the hole from the stock rail joint also from the uh, edge of the joy rail joint which is 160 mm first hole while the second uh, rail uh, hole will be 1680 the gap between these two holes is 80 mm let me show you the same in this diagram in this figure as i have told you the first hole from the edge of the tongue rail is 450 mm so the hole required for this is at a distance of 450 mm while the second hole is 80 mm from the first hole if you need to take it from the srj so SRJ is a distant. What is the distance from SRJ? Then generally this hole will be at a distance of 1600 mm from SRJ. From the stock rail joint, it will be 160 mm. And the 160 centimeters are 1600 mm. While the second hole will be 80 mm from there. In this diagram also I am showing the same again. So the first hole on the stock rail joint at a distance of 5, uh, 450 mm from the tongue rail edge. While the second hole is at a distance of 530 mm. The distance between these two is 80 mm. This is a 22 mm hole drilled hole. And the height from the bottom of the stock rail. The hole marking shall be from the bottom of the stock rail so this shall be from the bottom end shall be 76 mm this is another method of showing it from the edge of the tongue rail that same distance 450 mm while the second is another 80 mm from there now coming to the tongue rail how the hole markings should be given Two holes are required of 22 mm dia at a height of 55 mm. The first hole from the edge of the tongue rail is given as 428 mm by RDS4. But in practice, it is seen that if you provide it at 428 mm, the distance between P clamp and your bracket becomes very, very less. Hence, it is in practice generally at 440 to 450 mm. I am taking as an indicative 445 mm. Though RDS4 says 428, generally it is observed that it should be 445 mm for straight rods. While the second hole will be uh, as per RDS4 at a distance of 498 mm from the edge of the tongue rail toe. But in practice, it is better to provide at 515 mm.
Now in this figure you can see and understand very easily the distance of the hole, this hole required for tongue rail bracket. These two are holes are required on the web. First one is 6428 mm while the second one is 498 mm. This is as per RDSO but as I have told you in practice this hole shall be at a distance of 445 mm. It is observed that at 428 mm this distance is very very less and becoming very difficult. Hence it is suggested to provide at around 445 mm and from there 70 mm second hole. The height from the base is 55 mm. The height at which the hole marking should be given shall be at 55 mm from the bottom. I will show the same in another style. So this is 428 mm first hole, second hole 498 mm, 22 mm is the diameter of the hole and the distance between these two is 77 mm and the height at which the hole shall be provided marked is 55 mm. Now coming to peak clamp holes, coming to peak clamp holes, how you have to, there will be two holes again diameter of 22 mm and at a height of 58 mm from the bottom. The holes I will give you directly through this diagram. So you can see the first hole is at a distance of 40 mm from the edge of the tongue rail and second hole is at a distance of 295 mm from the edge of the tongue rail. First hole is at 40 mm, second hole marking shall be at 295 mm and what is the height at which shall be given is provided in the previous slide. Here this is 58 mm that is the height at which the hole shall be marked. The first hole at a distance of 40 mm and the second hole will be at a distance of 245 mm from the first hole or you can say 285 mm from the edge of the tongue rail. Both holes are at a diameter of 22 mm. Now where this SSD, now coming to spring setting device, where your SSD shall be placed in different layouts. If it is one and a half, one and eight and a half layout, it is provided on the eighth sleeper. While it is placed on the 13th sleeper in one in 12 layout. This is the distance from where the, uh, from the sleeper while now I am telling you this is the 60 kg layout, this is 1 in 12 layout. So in this 1 in 12 layout, whole uh, the SSD shall be placed on the 13th sleeper and the hole for fixing of tongue, uh, tongue uh, mouth at 232 mm from center line of the 13th sleeper. So this is your uh, third sleeper, fourth sleeper, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth and thirteenth. So thirteenth sleeper we are placing our SSD. Now these two holes are to be marked on the web of your tongue rail. So what is the marking that you can give for providing these two holes? It is at a distance of 232 mm from center line of the 13th sleeper. 232 mm from the center line of the 13th sleeper. So here you can see the point operation of a thick web switch. The point is operated from one direction. Now it is you can see Mali operate. it is locked in the close switch is locked. Here you can observe that the arm is outside and it has locked the tongue rail with stop. operate. Now in the next operation, 
you see how the operation takes place. Now let us see the operation of spring setting device. Right, point operate. This is your spring setting device that is provided on the 13 sleeper. Mali operate. Now point is being set to reverse. Here this, the whole line should be straight. In this uh, layout, it is not very straight, but it is suggested, but that the SSD is switched, uh, is placed in such a way this, that the whole mark is straight. Thank you. If you have any questions, please give them in the comment section. Thank you.